Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to create an app that uses a web page as its user interface and logic. The page will be written in HTML with an image and JavaScript on click events using the jQuery framework. It will also include demonstrations of how to bridge JavaScript commands between the web interface and the native Java code. This video covers a lot of material. If you are coding along, be prepared to press the pause button. Otherwise, download the source code from my website. The app we will create relies on a couple of dependencies. The first one is jQuery. You can download the source code from their website or by installing it with the Node Package Manager program. jQuery is not required for including JavaScript in your app, but we are using it here in order to demonstrate how to properly include a JavaScript library in a web view. The second dependency is a GIF image. I got this one from the GitHub account for the jQuery wiki page. You can use any image you want, much like the jQuery library. It is included here for demonstration purposes. Let's begin coding the app. Open up Android Studio and click on Start a New Android Studio Project. Give your project a name and then click on Next. When selecting the SDK, I recommend setting a minimum SDK of Android 5.0. The reason is because the web views prior to this version have several bugs and also have some missing features. After you select your SDK, click on Next, select an empty activity and then click on Next. Use the default name of Main Activity and then click on Finish. Inside our activity main XML file, delete the text view that's created by default and replace it with a web view. Give the web view an ID, make sure its width and height are equal to match parent. Then right click on your package and select new folder assets folder. Click on finish. Now copy your dependencies and paste them into the assets folder that you just created, specifically the GIF image and the jQuery library. Then back in Android Studio, right click the assets directory and select new file. Name the file index.html and click OK. And create the header for your HTML file. Include a script tag with the jQuery library. Note that the root of the directory structure for this HTML file is your assets directory. Create your body tag. Give it a header1 tag with the text insert title here. We're going to do a search replace on this later in the video. Then create an image tag with the GIF image as its source. And create three paragraph tags, each with unique IDs. And finally, create an opening and closing script tag and create three jQuery on-click events. One's going to be calling the JavaScript alert function. Another one's going to be calling a make toast function from an object called app that we're going to define in our Java code. And the last one is going to call a method from the app object called go to second activity. Right click on your package and select new Java class. Give the class a name webview JavaScript interface and click OK. Import your dependencies. Create a private variable with the type of main activity. And then create a constructor that takes a main activity as a parameter. Create a function called make toast. Make sure that you annotate this with the JavaScript interface tag. And finally, create a method called go to second activity. And this is going to call a yet to be defined method from our main activity with the same name. Right click your package and select new activity basic activity. Give the activity a name. Here we're just calling it basic activity and then click on finish. And give it a text view with the text that says second activity. When you're done with your layout, it should look something like this. Now go to the main activity.java file. Import your dependencies. Create a couple of private variables. One's the web view JavaScript interface we just created, and the other one is a web view. Create a function called read file to string. As the name implies, it's just going to read a file from your assets directory and save the contents to a string variable. Now define the method go to second activity. Create an intent with the basic activity class, and then start the activity. Now inside your onCreate method, instantiate the web view, and then configure the web settings from your web view to enable JavaScript. Instantiate your web view JavaScript interface, and add the interface to your web view, passing it the string app for the second parameter. Then call set layer type to prevent flickering on some devices. Then set web contents debugging enable to true if you want to do debugging in your Chrome browser. This only works on newer versions of Android. Now to add support for the JavaScript alert function, we need to set a web Chrome client to the web view. Now let's read the file contents of our index.html file, perform a search replace on it to give it the title hello world, and then load the web page with all assets that are referenced in the HTML file. And just for good measure, we're going to call a JavaScript function from the native app just to demonstrate how it's done. And that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.